Hey, welcome back to another Patreon lesson. Today I'm going to be talking about um, just kind of comparing the idea of, you know, somebody asking, what should I use on my overheads and my room mics? Um, should I, you know, do pencil condensers? Should I do large diaphragm condensers? Should I do ribbons? What's like the best, you know, mic for each position? And of course, the short answer is it depends um, on what you're going for. It depends on what room you're in, what kind of space. It depends on the kit and the symbols you're playing. It depends on you know, the style of the song, it depends on the way you're playing, there's lots of things it depends on, but there's kind of um, four points that I've kind of broken down in ways to consider what you might want to either purchase if you're looking to buy something and you're wondering what to get, or if you have the luxury of kind of having both options and you just need to make a choice on what goes where. Um, so what I'm going to do is just show a playing portion, as usual. Um, I played um, this kit set up uh, the same kind of groove twice. Um, the first time with some pencil condensers on overheads and some ribbons on rooms, uh, both stereo. And then I played it again and kept the mic positions the exact same and everything. It was just a, a different take. Um, and I swapped them and put the, uh, the ribbons on overheads and put the pencil condensers on rooms. Um, and basically I'm going to show you a full mixed, you know, processed version of both back to back. So you can kind of hear what they sound like as a whole, um, and how they speak with everything else kind of remaining the same. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll talk about kind of those four bullet points of, you know, things to consider when you're choosing either what to buy or what to set up, uh, for the sound you're going for. Um, so I think that's everything I have for this lesson. Um, if you've got any questions, as always, feel free to let me know. And if not, I'll see you next time.